It moved too fast to be bound to the sun. Very first object that we have found coming to us from interstellar space, from other places. It was the very first object that visited our vicinity in the solar system from outside the solar system. On the 19th of October, 2017, one of these extremely rare phenomena was discovered when the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii saw something very peculiar moving in our solar system. It moved in a very unique pattern, and scientists were stunned that it didn't seem to orbit around the sun. The only explanation for the way it moved was that it was an interstellar object from a distant solar system, the first interstellar object ever recorded in history named Oumuamua. This information was more than enough to cause a massive storm among scientists in almost every domain. As cosmologists and astronomers raced to fully understand the true nature of Oumuamua, it had already passed us by. While some questions were answered, there still is a lot we didn't get to learn from this quick encounter. What really is Oumuamua? Is it natural or artificial in nature? Is it a sign of an intelligent species out in the deeper regions of space? Or is it just a uniquely shaped comet moving through the cold void of the universe? What were our scientists able to understand from our mysterious interstellar visitor? And what questions still remain as questions to this day? Join us as we discuss this in full detail and try to unravel the puzzling nature of Oumuamua, our visitor from afar. PANSTARRS-1 is a massive telescope present at the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii, which constantly keeps scanning the sky every night for various forms of moving celestial bodies. Most of the time, these findings are examined by the PANSTARRS-1 staff and considered to be unexceptional objects flying by. But on one morning, they were baffled to find an object moving between the stars moving in a much more peculiar way than others. The usual follow-up was done by the staff and the data regarding its speed and position was like nothing ever seen before. By October 22nd, they had enough data to conclude that this object was not from our solar system. This news spread throughout the astronomy community like wildfire and a race began to understand its true nature. What is this new visitor in our solar system? Where did it come from? And what can we learn from it about our universe? Any discovery as significant as this deserves a name. So for a brief time, astronomers called it Rama after the cylindrical spacecraft from Arthur C. Clarke's renowned science fiction novel, Rendezvous with Rama. Later on, a Hawaiian navigator and a Hawaiian linguist were consulted for a much more unique name. Here, this mysterious object finally got its famous name, Umuamua, meaning a messenger from afar arriving first in Hawaiian. The fact that made this newcomer even more special was not only its origin, but also its shape and movement. It was noticed to be unusually elongated and shaped like a cigar. The way it spun around its axis made it even more complex to understand. These properties clearly do not fit the norms of the objects in our solar system. And because of this, a variety of enigmatic theories started to form. Some called it a remnant of an ancient alien civilization, while others argued that it could be a probe sent by a higher intelligent life form to monitor our response. Speculations from the scientific communities were much more grounded in reality than that, of course. Most scientists considered it to be a comet without a tail, and others emphasized that it could be an asteroid with an unusual rotation. The nature of Oumuamua, now commonly a comet, contains a luminous coma, which is the dusty atmosphere surrounding the nucleus, and a luminous tail, which consists of gases and dust extending for a few hundred kilometers behind its path. Since Oumuamua didn't consist of both these distinguishing features, it was reclassified as an asteroid. However, it isn't like any asteroid we've seen before. Its elongated shape and the speed at which it entered into our solar system made most scientists wonder if it is a new type of asteroid, the first of its kind to ever be discovered. Its speed was definitely exceptional, to say the least. It moved at the shattering speed of 87.3 kilometers per second in a slingshot motion past the sun. Most scientists assume that its trajectory was influenced by non-gravitational forces. This is explainable because there could be some trapped gases or other materials that can be released after rapid heating and vaporization, giving it a high velocity. But the fact that no such gaseous release was observed makes it even more mysterious in nature. Here another possibility was also introduced. 
Some scientists suggested it could be driven by the force of radiation pressure being exerted on its larger surface. Man-made objects like these do exist and are called solar sail. However, no naturally occurring object has ever been noticed to act like a solar sail. The way it moved can be explained as a tumbling motion. While it was rotating around its short axis, it was also rotating along its long axis and nodding up and down. This can certainly be pinned down to the fact that it was violently ejected after a collision between two celestial bodies or resulted from a fierce explosion. But what is it made up of? Is it natural or artificial in nature? Well, the way to tell that is through remote observations and looking at how light interacts with the surface of the object. Some colors of the light spectrum end up getting absorbed, signaling towards a specific chemical, while some substances might reflect red or blue light more efficiently. Data collected from the way light interacts with asteroids helps us understand a bit more about its composition without the need to have it present physically in our reach. In the case of Oumuamua, it reflected a major amount of red light, which hinted towards the presence of a large amount of metal on its surface and about its core. It is theorized that it should contain a rocky or even a metal core for it to spin at such a high velocity and not break apart. The mystery of Oumuamua kept on growing with every question that was answered. This made it even more enigmatic for the scientists, causing a huge stir amongst multiple scientific domains. The race was on as astronomers and cosmologists tried to understand its true nature. Some suggested that maybe learning about its shape or the way it moves could help us learn more about interplanetary travel, which could revolutionize it entirely. The investigation of Oumuamua was led by a team of researchers, including Jennifer Bergner, a chemist at the University of California, Berkeley, and Daryl Seligman, an astronomer at Cornell University. The model they proposed in their research paper is the most convincing model ever considered about the true nature of Oumuamua. The team's observations were supported by NASA's Hubble and Spitzer telescopes, which noticed that it accelerated slightly as it exited the solar system. This acceleration is commonly noticed in comets when they are repelled by the materials they emit, but Oumuamua simply had no signs of tail or ejection of gases. The team explained that Oumuamua could have originated as a water-rich comet orbiting a nearby star. High-energy cosmic rays could have converted nearly 30% of its water ice into hydrogen, which could have caused the propulsion it needed to carry it into our solar system. According to Seligman, Oumuamua could have most probably been a comet, even though it was a highly unusual one. The lack of the tail could also be explained by the presence of molecular hydrogen being propelled instead of other materials. Molecular hydrogen is less massive compared to other materials, meaning it wouldn't have caused the dust to be entrained along with it. The most puzzling question that was raised about its change in trajectory could be explained as well due to it being a hydrogen-rich comet, part of an alien civilization. While most scientists had a much more grounded approach toward the reality of Oumuamua, Dr. Brian Cox, a well-known English physicist, entertained some much more grandiose theories. One of the theories he explored was the theory of artificial construct hypothesis. This theory states that Oumuamua isn't an object that came into being naturally, but it is a product of intelligent design by an advanced civilization we have yet to discover. Its shape, unexpected acceleration, as well as its deviation from its normal trajectory all point toward the presence of mechanisms that could be piloting this object. While this idea might be entertaining for the general population to read, and it could help sensationalize the information, theories like this should always be taken with some skepticism as well as curiosity. Another hypothesis regarding Oumuamua being an artificial object states that it might not be a spacecraft being piloted by a higher life form, but a space probe sent out by extraterrestrial civilization carrying a message hidden inside it in order to find intelligent life, much like we do. Dr. Brian Cox states that the speed, trajectory, and shape itself could be a specific design to make sure it captures our attention and makes us wonder what it might be. This can be compared to our various attempts to find intelligent life, like the golden phonograph record placed on the Voyager. This record contains music, sounds, and images in order to show the diversity of life present on Earth. Similarly, some believe that Oumuamua might contain information about a specific alien civilization situated millions of light years away from us, sending out a message in the ether and waiting for someone to respond. 
While there are some speculations regarding why it could have been a craft or a probe from an advanced civilization, there were counter explanations presented by other scientists stating why that makes no sense. The first major criticism this theory received was that if it was truly a probe, then it should have emitted some form of radiation or signals to collect data. In reality, no such signals were ever received from Oumuamua. Secondly, the tumbling and spinning motion of Oumuamua does not seem consistent with the movement one would expect from a probe to collect data. These rapid whirling movements can be considered by some to be much more chaotic rather than systematic as a probe should be. The story of Oumuamua could be considered by some as a story of possible life outside our solar system. But by others, it is a cautionary tale about the importance of rigorous scientific research. Having such speculative theories and considering grander designs of our universe might seem interesting, but they act as a double-edged sword. Such ideas do help us grasp novel concepts that we were ignorant of, but on the other hand, they do take us farther away from the truth. Some scientists might still believe that the unique characteristics of Oumuamua were due to some intelligent race out in the empty voids of space, but the fact still remains that no such evidence was ever discovered. But this doesn't mean Oumuamua is just a comet floating in the ether like the others. It is very unique in every way imaginable, not to mention the first object ever to visit outside our cosmic backyard. The fact that we might never be able to witness such an object flying in our nearby space makes it just as rare as finding a new life form out there. Thanks for watching.